You know, when I go online, sometimes I read these comments like, oh man, it's so easy for you. you you're endorsed by Roland and by Tama and Milo and maybe T-shirt company or whatever. You drummers, you, you, you're all so well organized, but I'm just a very hobby drummer and I don't have any budget, you know, for these pads and these clap sounds. So what the heck, why should I follow these lessons? Well, actually, you do have possibilities to change your drum set into something a little bit more EDM, even if you just have a small acoustic setup. And you know what? Maybe you have a broken cymbal lying around there, okay, laying around there. So why not putting it on top of your right cymbal, maybe add another broken splash, like this, and instead of thinking cymbal, you start thinking clap. completely different than the right symbol. And uh, you know, this is still a little bit too much uh, resonance, uh, too, too, yeah, too much resonance. Kaffa tape, okay, make it stick, okay? So the resonance is a little bit more controlled. All right, let's do this with the track. But the thing is, you need a lot of gaffer tape. But you know what, I'm all prepared. <laughs> Here we go. Lots of gaffer tape. Not a problem. It's not a problem. You see? And we change this right symbol completely into the most nasty clap sound you've ever heard. One, two, three. Maybe, ah, uh, sorry man, can't do, because I still need my right cymbal to be able to play some rhythms on it. Okay, you go to your other broken cymbals, or maybe this nice splash, uh, splash uh, yeah, uh, combination, and you put it on your floor tom, like this. And let's see what happens. That's actually pretty nice, but again, Gaffer tape, yeah! You know, this is where gaffer tape actually is very, very musical, because many people use it for different other things, like for instance, in the garden or in the garage. No, this is a musical instrument. So let's put this right here, okay? One, two, three. Next.